What's up, God? So I want to do a reading and debate as it pertains to this Fantasia debate about submitting to your husband. And her and her husband has a few videos where they're saying, um, explaining, using pretty words or trying to make it, you know, okay to say or to submit to a man as a woman, to your husband as a woman. And I think it's ridiculous that people are still in the mindset that just because you are a female that you are to submit to the male or that the male is the one with a vision, the male is the one to lead the family. And that's ridiculous that we're in 2019, almost 2020, and women have not found their own fucking power. Where's your power? Where you think you grow up your entire fucking life to follow somebody because they're male. Like, this shit is ridiculous. It's misogyny. It's fucking ridiculous to me. I'm going to do a reading on it. When you're in a relationship, it's equal give and take. Submission, let's just get rid of the submission word. Um, let's talk about, let's call it leadership. Um, compromise. Leadership, compromise, consideration. You consider each other in a partnership. You lead the partnership together there is no one leader i so person making a decision i give input i consider your input nigga fuck that fuck is you talking about we consider each other and we both make the best decision for the partnership for the family for the unit there is no is that money facebook Facebook, I gotta turn that notification off. There is no reason Facebook need to be interrupting any fucking thing that I do. Anyway, there shouldn't be a woman out there who feels like she's being, she's growing up and learning and living and learning to be second to someone else in her life or to be led. You, as an adult, should learn how to lead yourself. And then when you become a partner with someone, you two are a unit together. You're, you're both leaders. You consider each other and you make decisions together. If you think that, if you still believe in this help me bullshit, you are marginalizing yourself. And it's fucking ridiculous to me that any woman would do that to herself. And it's ridiculous to me that men still live in this mindset, this misogynistic, I don't give a fuck how pretty they try to make it sound with the husband's video. It's not pretty. I don't, it's, it's bullshit. Men should not still be in this misogynistic mindset that a woman is, that they are to lead the household. No, we are co-leaders. The, the female and the male co-lead a household, make decisions together. All this, I'm the visionary, you multiply my vision. Fuck that. We're, I'm a visionary too. We both have visions. And if we're the right people for each other, if we're on, right on the same wavelength and we're spiritual partners and you're my spiritual half, then we should be... On the same, have the same vision anyway, and leading towards the goal together as a unit, as a family, as an entity. So I just want to do a reading on it because I think it's ridiculous that people are agreeing with this, and that women in particular are okay with having another grown person lead them. You're not a kid anymore. Your dad led you when you were a kid. Your mom led you when you were a kid. I don't know if you have daddy issues. I don't know if it's. I don't know what it is. I'm just glad I don't have that mindset where I feel like I'm growing up for a man to lead me. I, I know that I have a mind of my own. I know that I have a, I can, I'm a visionary in myself. And I know that when I come together with the man, it's equal partnership, equal give and take. We consider each other. And if you want to call it submission, it's not, it's, it's submitting to the partnership. It's submitting to each other. I don't even like the word. It's considering each other. I consider you in my decision. I consider our visions and our and my decisions. I consider our unit, our entity, our family, and our decisions that we're making together as it pertains to our partnership. You do not lead me. I don't need to be led. And then the stuff that he said, uh, balance, you have to know how to balance a checkbook. You know how to, bitch, I know how to do that too. Like, it's ridiculous that people are living in a society where they think it's okay that one gender is to lead another. No, that's insecurity. That that it was created because it's misogynistic and it's insecurity. It, it, are y'all scared of women? What is it? Why did they even create that standard? It's a patriarch 
we, we're beyond that now. We're beyond this patriarch society. We've moved beyond it. We're evolving. And evolving means standing in your power as a woman, standing in your power as a man, not needing to get your power or your authority or your self-esteem by being the leader of a household. It's getting your understanding your power and authority as a person individually, period, regardless of who you with or what partnership you're in, and coming together with a partner to co-lead towards a shared vision. To lead your unit and your family towards a shared goal and vision. If you think that it's okay to lead a woman or to say that you're the leader of a household and all that, and you take care, I don't give a fuck how good you take care of them. If a woman is sitting, she's marginalizing herself by allowing you to lead her. Now, if you're co-leaders, okay. But if she's sitting back allowing you to lead her, she's a fucking kid. She's not an adult. Adults know we both make decisions, we both have shared visions, and we're both working towards that vision. Period. Anything else, you're a child. You, you're allowing yourself to be a child. Anyway, let's see what cards come out with this. This is ridiculous. Spirit, what do you feel about this? Because I think it's ridiculous. But let's see what cards come out. I just don't, I just cannot believe we still live in a society where people think women are to be led by a male. I, I lead myself. And when I'm becoming a partner with someone, respect what I have to say. Respect that I'm a shared part of this partnership. I'm a shared, we sharing this leadership position. It ain't going to be my mom, my dad led my mom. No, fuck that. My mom was a leader too. My son would never wake, grow up thinking just because he's a male, he's in charge. Interesting. <laughs> oh, child, the chariot is war. But the chariot is also, um, if you look at this, it's masculine and feminine energy. It's, it's, you have the yin and the yang in front of the, the chariot. You have the yin and the yang. Both, it doesn't look like one of them is more important than the other. They both need each other. They're both a part of the war. They're both needed to win the war. I love this. With the chariot, it's like you both need it. And then it's also, it could be a faith issue as well. The fool card is about taking a leap of faith. Um, what I'm getting with these together, it's a spiritual partnership. Yin Yang is also about spiritual partnerships. But it's equal. And I'm not being biased. I'm reading the card. Because if you look at both of these, there's one above the other. It's yin and there's yang. And they're both needed to lead. They're both needed to win the war. As well as faith. As well as spirit. It's a spiritual partnership and both are equally important. Let's keep um, pulling. Spiritual partnership. Both equally important. Period. It's just sad times. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we have the Six of Cups and we have the Devil. Let's talk about both of these. Um, and we have the Nine of Cups at the bottom. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Six of Cups is a soulmate partnership. So... I, don't, I honestly didn't want this to be about Fantasia as a person or her relationship, but I don't know what the card says, what the card, I'm not even going to get into that. But anyway, with the Six of Cups, it's like a soulmate partnership. It's a thinking. Yep, that's what I'm getting. Because if you look at it, it's like he's hovering over the woman. Like he's offering his cup of love to the woman. And he has, the my computer keeps messing up. But anyway, if you look at this, this is representative of the old ways of doing things. If you look at it, you can see like the old buildings in the background, very old buildings and how he's hovering over the woman offering a cup of love. It's just representing, you know, the old society, the old ways of doing things at, you know, the male being the head of household, the male being the one groomed to power stem from 
stemming from cultural cultural implications, probably also stemming from a need for control. Yep, it's representing the old ways of doing things that people haven't evolved. Why was it that way? It was that way to keep computer. It was that way to keep people in bondage. Look at it. Look at the devil. It was that way to keep control and to keep people in bondage. So the old way of handling business as it pertains to the household mill hovering over the female being the leader, it's connected to keep people in bondage. Yep. Slavery. It's connected to control. It's demonic and it's connected to slavery. Period. And with the Nine of Cups adding to this, it's to keep the male in power. It's to keep the male gender in power. Yep. People do things like people marginalize groups because they're scared of them. They're scared of their power. They're scared that they'll understand and know their power. So in order to keep control, in order to keep the control men in control of society they have these rules and they have these standards that women have adhered to or sometimes even want to adhere to to keep them under control and it's fucking ridiculous it's like being a slave by your choice remember said Kanye said slavery is a choice well slavery is a choice and to even be an adult and think that it's okay to say someone you're submitting to someone is fucking slavery Time for a new perspective. It's time to go within and come forward with a new perspective. Times are changing. Times are changing. Page of Pentacles adds new beginnings. Times are changing. And it's time for a new perspective. It's time for women to know their power. It's time for men to know their role as well. That without having to be in control of a woman, it's time for people to be more secure in who they are. I'm not taking all these cards. It's too much going on. It's time to... You know, sorry, guys. I didn't want all those cards. I just wanted to do a quick video on this. But, yeah. It's time to grow up. It's time to evolve. It's time to move forward. The cherry was the first card. It's time to move forward with the times. Seriously. It's time for your faith to evolve. It's time for your religious institutions to evolve. It is time. This um, uh, toxic masculinity, it's over. Yep, the judgment. It's time for new ways of doing things. And the let go of the past. The four pinnacles stand for holding on to old beliefs. Holding on to old ways of doing things. But really, it's time to evolve. It's a new phase of life. It's a new cycle. It's really a new cycle. And it's time for us all to evolve. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Because people are probably going to think I'm being biased based on my opinion. But um, it's, it's more than an opinion. It's like, think. Come forward with a new perspective. If you think you were created to submit to someone, think again. Come forward with a new perspective. I promise you there is no perspective that I'm going to come back with that think that it's okay for me to submit to someone because they're a male. That's absolutely ridiculous. And it's really time to evolve. I hope this really helped. Um, if I offended you, that wasn't my intent. But, you know, if I shake things up a bit, I'm not sorry for that. I am not sorry for not adhering to slave standards or control of the male sex. It's ridiculous. And if you're a male and you think that's okay, it's because you're insecure and you need to get your power from somewhere. But bitch, you won't get it from me. Anyway, I wish you all love. I wish you all light. And I wish you more life. Peace. Thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to visit ashleygillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.